Good evening, y'all, and welcome back to the kitchen. I'm going to be uh, making some Rotel tomatoes today and canning them with the pressure canner. So it takes quite a bit of prep work because you have to cut all your tomatoes and onions and peppers um, and whatever else you decide to add. I watched several videos from different uh, YouTubers to see how they did it. And uh, one lady measures pound-wise for her vinegar solution. Her acidity will be right with the tomatoes. So I'm going to use a little bit of this one and a little bit of that one. And I'm going to just compile it. And I'm going to, I don't have really a set recipe. So y'all have to watch and just, I'll tell you how much of stuff I'm putting in. But uh, then you can make you some Rotel tomatoes. And that's a name brand. It's just tomatoes with green chilies and onions in it. So I'm using my Nimco Easy Chopper on the quarter inch dice and I'm dicing all my tomatoes and I'm not peeling them. I'm taking my Roma tomatoes and I'm, the larger ones I'm cutting in three pieces and then uh, dicing them on there and then I've got to do onions and my peppers and they'll all be a quarter inch dice and um, I'll have me some pretty Rotel tomatoes made by Gay Jordan. So y'all come on over to the butcher block and you can watch my hands while they work and we'll get this show on Okay, on the tomatoes, I'm just slicing them in three pieces, the fat ones. And I'm putting them on the Nimco chopper and uh, chopping them. And I'll show you, I've got a bowl full here that I'm fixing to empty into another bowl. Just little quarter inch dices. So I'm going to keep doing this. I'll do another one or two uh, until I've just about got them all done. Now I've got to peel my onions and get them sliced to where I can put them on here and uh, get them diced and ready to go. Then I'll get my peppers out of the ice box and uh, get them ready also. Of course, y'all probably done figured it out. I'm going to use hatch peppers in mine because they're available, and that's what I'm going to use. I'm just going to use uh, just yellow onions uh, in it, and I may, I may put a rib or two of celery in it. I'm not sure because most of my bunch don't like celery, so it'll probably just be tomatoes, onions, and peppers. And then the stuff for the acidity. So I'm going to get this finished and then I'll bring y'all back and we'll chop a few onions and then we'll come back and chop a few peppers and then we'll Put start my onions cooking. and peel them and I've just cut them. I just sliced it into slices and I'm just going to put it on here and dice it and it's coming out quarter, quarter inch dices just like the tomatoes. Let me show you and then I'm going to get finished. So let me get all my onions finished, and then I'll start on my hatch peppers. I'm seeding a few jalapenos because I didn't have quite enough hatch. I just cut my pepper in half long ways. I cut the stem off, and then I just take my knife and go in here and try to get that white membrane out because that's hot, and the seed. I want the flavor of the peppers, but I don't want a lot of heat. So I just run my knife down the edge, curve it back around and get that out. And just get out as much of it as I can. I don't spend 30 minutes on it, but got my peppers clean. So I'm fixing to chop some of the jalapenos so that I'll have my, maybe my right amount. I'm just chopping them into little quarter inch pieces just like the others. Seeded peppers just add a very unique flavor to salsas and stuff. My salsa, that takes 30 seeded, 30 jalapenos, and then we seeded uh, all but three. My friend's mother made that recipe up many, many years ago, and I've shared it with a few YouTubers that have used it. Gives it such a unique flavor that um, I've learned to put seeded jalapenos and stuff just for that different flavor. You get a little heat, but never uh, what it would be if it was the whole peppers. Okay, into my big uh, pot, I've got my tomatoes, my jalapenos and hatch chopped, my onions, and then I've added white vinegar, sugar, and salt, 
and one bulb of garlic, which minced it came to a little a heaping tablespoon. So I'm going to let this cook down for about an hour, and then I'm going to jar it up in water bath it for 20 minutes. So I'll bring y'all back when I come to do something different. I'm getting the water into my water bath canner. Okay, my mixture has cooked down uh, for the allotted time. I cooked it an hour, and now I've got my water bath canner boiling. And I'm fixing to get my jars out and start filling them and getting them into the water bath can. My uh, lid simmering. I still like to do that. Some people don't do it. They say it's not necessary, but I would rather be safe than sorry. So I'm all ready to go here. I'll do these four and then I'll do some more. I'm going to fill them with a half inch of headspace. Is what it recommends. Ooh, lordy, these drawers are hot. I sterilized them and then I put them in the oven to keep them warm and uh, sterile. I'm going to finish filling the jars and then when I take them over to the uh, the canner, I'll bring y'all back. Okay, y'all know that we wipe the rims of the jars with uh, vinegar. That gets anything off that would keep the seal from sealing if you've splashed your your uh, product up on there and around the edges here. I'm going to get my lids on these first ones and get them into the canner and then we'll finish up with enough to fill it. And I'm going to have a couple of cooking so I'll just keep this simmering until. Okay, y'all, I'm going to just finish filling these, and then I'll be back in a minute and show you what's going on. Okay, I'm just going to give y'all a look down the cabinet, and I've told you before, when it's canning season, everything's a mess. So right now, I'm fixing to get these out. They've been in for 20 minutes, and I'm going to put them on my little pad here. I've got okra ready to go in the freezer. So let's see. It's just so pretty. All the colors in it. I got 10 pints in this one. And I, probably, I don't know how many I have left. I'll have a surprise. love this water bath canner that I was lucky enough to find. Um, found it at a vendor that was selling on walmart.com. Okay, I've got to let that come back up to a rolling bowl and while it's doing that, I'm going to fill the rest of my jars and then I'll be back. Okay, here's the salsa and I've got 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 pints here and I kept one out to eat. Plus, we probably ate about two cups, so I would say 18 pints total. And they're still popping. I just took the last ones out of the canner, so it sure does taste good. I hope y'all enjoyed the video and maybe learned something. Maybe you've canned salsa before and maybe you haven't. This is different than the one that I always put up, but it's so good. We've already had a few chips with it for chips and dip. You could use it in a recipe in place of Rotel tomatoes, stewed tomatoes. 
there's a lot of different applications for it. So if you have an abundance of tomatoes, you might try it. What I did, they had Roma tomatoes on sale. So I just bought Roma tomatoes and I didn't peel them. I cut the top off and then you saw me chop them on the Nimco chopper and uh, then I just cooked it down according to the recipe and the process that you've seen me do. I ended up with like 18 pints. So it produces quite a bit of salsa and it's so very, very good. I hope y'all will try it. And if you don't have like Romas, you could make it out of uh, canned tomatoes. But you want to dice your tomatoes and measure your amounts where the acidity will all uh, correlate and be what it should be between the ingredients that are in the recipe. I've been busy all day and I'm a little bit tired. I got one more chore to do. I'm going to make one more batch that those good peach preserves. Y'all have already seen that. So I'm not going to show you, but they were on sale and I couldn't resist. So here I go again. Won't take long to do that though. The good Lord bless y'all. Come back in a few days and we'll have something else good. And in the meantime, y'all better be getting you an extra can of beans, an extra bag of rice, an extra bag of dry beans, getting you a little bit of stuff on your shelves because we don't know what's going to happen in our world. It's kind of chaotic right now, and uh, a word to the wise should be sufficient. Get a little bit of stuff ahead. Then you won't have to panic if we get locked down again. You'll be prepared. I'll see y'all in a day or two.